Back on the Rink Live, Jess Myers along with McHatton at NCHC Media Day. Happen to be joined by Mark Senden from the North Dakota Fighting Hawks. Mark is a graduate student, he's a forward, and uh, from here in the Twin Cities, welcome welcome home, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys, good to be here. How much how much fun is stuff like this when you when you feel the season coming? I mean, we're like eight days away now or something. I know, it, it's great. You know, like you said, it just kind of builds up the suspense for the season, and obviously it's kind of been a long summer. But, you know, it's a good feeling to get everything kind of going here and can't wait to get started. Uh, you know, so much success, uh, you know, last season, but, you know, obviously didn't end up where, where you guys wanted to. But, uh, you, you know, when you think back to last season, what are things, I guess, that come to your mind, I guess, about, you know, you know winning another Penrose Cup and everything else? Yeah, I mean, let's start with, you know, last year we had 14 new guys, which uh, is a tremendous amount of people <laughs> considering yeah. uh, the turnover. And, you know, what we accomplished last year is it's amazing. You know, seeing the guys come together last year and being able to go into battle every single night for each other and accomplishing winning, you know, the Penrose. Obviously, again, like you said, our season was cut short there in regionals, but, uh, you know, I was super happy and proud of our guys pulling off the Penrose with 14 new guys. You know, you don't see that a lot, I feel like, but, uh, you know, hoping to take it a step further next year. How, uh, how much do you uh, not? Not want to ever see overtime again in an NCAA tournament <laughs> game. It seems like seems like that's kind of been the bane of the existence for the Fighting Hawks the last two years. Yeah, you know, OT. It's it's tough. You know, I definitely want to finish games out in regulation. Um, uh, you know, whirlwind of emotions whenever you get into overtime. Uh, but you always try to keep them cool. But uh, you know, finishing in 60 minutes is obviously ideal. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, just for you personally, I mean, Exxon Energy Center has got to be a pretty special place for you. You know, yeah. having won a state championship here, um, you know, just how inspired do you get to to get here for the NCHC tournament? Yeah, that's a goal of ours every single year. Obviously, we have a kind of checklist that we go through every year. First one is again winning the the Penrose, and then the next is. Uh, Getting making it down here to the to the tournaments and so you know it's always exciting coming down here playing in an uh, arena like this at pro pro arena um, it's awesome and you know our transfer fa travel uh, very well so it's it's great to see everyone when we get down here in green in the stands and it's it's a lot of fun. Sure. Uh, Zach Driscoll basically the last two seasons was was kind of the number one guy for you guys. Uh, what's the goaltending looking like here for you guys here in the early going? Yeah, we got a we got a. Grad transfer, uh, the Ritter from Michigan State. He's a really good attendee. And then obviously you have Jacob Helliston, mm -hmm. another really good goalie. And, you know, I think those two guys are pushing each other every single day to, you know, obviously fight for that first spot. So, you know, it's a great competition to see. You, you want that healthy competition within a team. That way everyone can uh, – push each other to keep getting even better every single day. Drew Ritter, I covered him at Michigan State the last couple of years covering the Big Ten. I, I heard a story that he had never actually been to Grand Forks before he announced he was coming to North Dakota. <laughs> Have you guys gotten him used to life in the Red River Valley a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, we've definitely got him adjusted a little bit. I think uh, winter might take a different toll of uh, <laughs> adjusting too, but uh, you know we'll we'll get him adjusted. We'll get him some winter coats and maybe some uh, hats to put on. Those, those Michigan guys, warm. those Michigan guys think they know winter. No, they don't. They don't know Red they, River Valley. Hey, winter. I'll give it to them. They they know snow, but they don't know cold. <laughs> You know, they, they get plenty of snow there, but they don't get negative 40 and 40 mile an hour winds. And, and as you know, my favorite part of the River Valley, the blowing and drifting snow. That's, yeah. that's, that's the best part. Exactly. It might be only a foot of snow on the ground, but it doesn't seem like it when it's when blowing it, all in When it's face. coming sideways, yeah, yeah that's a whole, whole different deal. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, you guys picked, uh, you know, to finish second, obviously, you know, Denver, the defending national champs. A lot of guys coming back for them. But yep. I would imagine you guys you guys went up right until the last game of the, of the regular season last season. Yeah. Are you anticipating kind of something similar this year? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You know, again, like I said uh, earlier, that's kind of a check checkbox we have every single year that we want to check off as we go throughout the season. But, you know, it comes down to just the start here uh, day by day, building on our systems as we start up right now. Right. You know, focusing on our power play, focusing on our PK and focusing on our five on five play, just building every single day and taking steps in the right direction. So then at the end of the season, we can uh, hopefully check off that box again. Brad Glassman always gives us great coverage of the Ironman competition to start yeah. the season. How'd it go for you, and, and, uh, and what kind of shape are you in? Uh, not too bad. Uh, I finished third. Um, Judd Caulfield, the, the horse we like to call him, finished first. Uh, they, you know, that guy's a tremendous athlete. Um, I believe Matteo Constantini finished second. Um, so, yeah, I finished third up in that. I'm pretty happy with that. So. Uh, typically, uh, I know you guys will have a pro camp and stuff, and uh, former North Dakota guys come and kind of work out for, for a week or so or whatever. Yeah. Uh, what, what's that experience like, you know, just having uh, some of those guys come back uh, on campus? You know, it's a lot of fun. Obviously, I've been around the program for a little bit now, and uh, having seen multiple guys sign pro deals and, you know, 
having those guys come back just kind of reignite the relationships with them. Yeah, you might be able to talk to them over the phone or text them or Snapchat them, but uh, you know, getting to hang out with them around the rink again and just being able to see them again and you know keep building those relationships, keep them intact. Uh, it's, it's a great feeling and it's always fun every summer. We talked about it a little bit off the air, but third weekend of October, uh, non-conference series, nothing on the line except about 80 years of uh, rivalry <laughs> tradition. You get the exactly. Gophers coming down here to the Twin Cities. Yep. Uh, you know, probably your last uh, chance to play at 3M Arena at Mariucci. Just how much fun is that rivalry? Oh, it, it's tremendous. Um, you know, it's like you said, there's a lot of history there. So it's a great series. Everyone always looks forward to it. It's an easy game to get up for, right? You know, it's it's just tremendous and it's awesome. You know, the fans are always into it. Um, it's just, there's no series like it. It's, it's amazing. And, and there's a couple times your team has come down to 3M Marina Mariucci and there's been a little bit more green than, uh, than <laughs> Marina Gold in the stands too. Yeah, you know, uh, our fans, uh, you know, we have such a great fan base. They travel so well and, you know, we love our fans and how much they travel and we, you know, so grateful for them and how they travel and they bring the energy that's for sure I, you know most people uh, when, when you talk to them you know about great places that they love to play on the road they talk about going to the Ralph you know on the other side of that though you know for you guys you know is, is there a place for you I guess in the NCHC that uh, hey I really like going into there yeah I mean you know guys might have different opinions but uh, for me it's honestly Duluth mm. I love going to Duluth um, you know for our fans again they travel very well there. They travel well everywhere, but uh, it's a little bit closer for them, I would say, for Duluth. Um, and, yes, yeah, it's, it's a great spot. It's a good rivalry every single time, you know, with two hard-nosed teams going at it. So it's great every single year, and it's a lot of energy in the building. Mm. All right, get prepared, uh, Duluth fans. You might see a lot of green this year when, uh, when the <laughs> Fighting Hawks come down. Mark Sennon from the North Dakota Fighting Hawks, thanks for joining us on NCAC Media Day. Yep, thanks for having me. That's McCatton. I'm Jess Myers. We are at XL Energy Center with lots more to come.